Hi everyone, this is Nikki Badalana. You may know me already online under Nikki.ca and welcome to the Art Playground. That is what I call my virtual art studio. Today I am doing a Damask Red Queen mixed media piece and I'm doing a quick sketch here with my Pilot Color Eno pencil and then outlining her in the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen, which is my favorite pen. So I'm going to be doing a quick little watercolor and cutting her out and then we're going to dive into doing our embossing and making her sparkle and glisten with wow embossing powders right now i'm just using the magnifying glass to finish up any little edges that aren't connected because i like to do a scan of my art prints and keep them for digital stamps so i just want to make sure all my little ends are nice and clean and then after I've uh, heat set the ink, I'm erasing all the pencil marks as best I can, and it's time to paint. So I am wetting the images first where I want the watercolor to flow. It just helps the watercolor kind of move and migrate on its own. And I'm just doing color washes. I just keep building and building, starting off light, and then add more and more shade to where you think it should be darker. Most of the paints in that watercolor palette are Daniel Smith's. I've built up that palette over a, a, a varied amount of time, so don't feel that you have to run out and grab a bunch of high-end watercolor paints if you're just starting out. Any little paint palette will do. And you'll see I'm leaving a lot of her skin tone, the natural white of the paper, because I want her to be quite pale. Just giving her some rosy little cheeks and some pink highlights. And then give her a quick little dry, make sure she's totally dry. And then I'm going to start cutting her out. I'm using my tiny little Tim Holtz fussy cutter scissors. They're great. And I'm just imagining where I want her placed on the journal page before I start painting the background. So I'm getting my colors prepped with water and then I'm going to spritz my whole page with some water because I really want to help all the shades migrate across the page as I do the wash. Do you guys remember some of that fabulous wallpaper that used to be around in the 70s? I've been seeing it come back lately. The damask wallpaper, but it's the one that has the velvet on it. that Like you could run your hand on it and it'd be really cool to touch. So that is what I'm envisioning for the background of this piece. So I added some Mai Tai embossing powders to the background just to add some sparkle while it was still wet. And now I'm going ahead and I'm going to add all the embossing layers to our Red Queen. And as you can tell, I'm doing listing all the colors on the bottom corner of the video. So you can always pause the video if you needed to write down those names if you liked the way they looked and you wanted to see if you can get some for yourself. Now her dress, I also wanted one of the damask patterns on her dress. So I'm trying to block out the areas where I do not want the stamp to hit with just some of those scrap pieces of paper. There we go, now I can add the powder. Oh, wait, wait till it's heat set. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm just re-outlining her gown with the black. That's the primary ebony. Oh, look at that. Look at that. She's regal. <laughs> 
little green sparkle tori with deck the halls. And now the clear sparkle just adds some glitz and shine. Every queen needs some glitz and shine. Look at her. Oh my gosh. So to get that wallpaper effect, I am mixing the pink flock with the primary apple red regular and the primary ebony regular embossing powders. Just in a little container, I'm just shaking it up and seeing how it mixes and see if I want to add a bit more of anything. I'm getting ready to stamp with my embossing powder pad and the Tim Holtz tapestry stamps. Ooh, it's time to flock. It's so pretty. It's funny when it goes on like this at first you really see a lot of the pink but then when you heat set it the black really stands out. And I want to do some more visual contrast so I'm darkening up the background. I'm look, making it look really weathered. I want it to be very distressed. Visually distressed. Oh look how rich that looks. Need to add some more sparkle to her crown, so I'm adding the pearl gold sparkle and I'm adding it to her eyelash line as well. Dusting off the extra bits before I heat set it. Now we are going to attach her to the journal page. In case you're wondering what this journal page is, it's actually um, a page ripped out of a Stillman and Byrne Beta, B-E-T-A series journal. I've got quite a few of them going and while I'm working on my Alice in Wonderland project, I have been pulling out the pages so it's easier to scan in the images after for my collection. Oh, look how lovely she is. Here's a quick little visual recap of all the supplies I used. I did forget to put the WoW heat gun <laughs> to the corner, but you guys know I use the heat gun. So there we go. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.